Alex Jones, John Lee and Joe Morris are now inviting you to join. The common claim of the New West. Hi everyone, uh, we just want a quick update to let you know that this week uh, we're actually recording this last week, so congratulations to England for getting to the World Cup final and winning it, um, and that. So yeah, we've actually planned ahead this week and we're going to actually do an episode now so you can have something to listen to next week and we don't just have to put up a little thing of me going, sorry, nothing this week. Yeah, I'm busy, busy next week, I'm going to Lovebox Music Festival, Gunnersbury Park in London. Go see uh, Childish Gambino and a few other sort of rap and hip hop acts. Yeah, hopefully you play Don't that nine times. Though. Yeah, he comes yeah. on, plays a song, other song. You like? Mm. Yeah, no, no. but also, isn't that song? Oh, sorry, shout it then. <laughs> Wasn't isn't that song more about the video than it was the song? Yeah, I, I don't mean, think I've listened to it without the video. It's, it's, I don't mean really give a shit about either. To be honest, <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of his. Um, everyone else that's going is really excited to see him. Yeah, I've heard him as an actor. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure his music is, is good, but I've never really given it the time of day. To be honest. But. Um, We've talked about community a lot on the show. Yeah, yeah. And, um... Joe and Al in the morning. Yeah, that's what we'll do. A little yeah, rebrand. Yeah. Um, and Atlanta. Yeah. We've I've just watched the first four episodes and that was brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Of you, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, this week we're just going to... Uh, we asked the Clay Nation for questions and you gave us some, so that's nice. So mm, thank you very much. Thanks. So, uh, Owen, uh, our um, audio engineer. Hello. What do you prefer? Yeah, audio engineer. audio engineer. I always get it wrong when I type it in the thing. Uh, assistant audio engineer. <laughs> assistant. assistant. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to read out the questions for us in a bit of a change of format for us. And um, we'll uh, go from there. Is there anything else you want to say before we start? No. No, go for it. Okay. So, first question. Um, what is the funniest tantrum you've seen an adult throw? Mm, good question. <laughs> um, I try to think. I'm sure I've seen loads of good ones. Like, it was a, one of our friends famously threw a massive strop on a night out a few weeks ago, but I won't go into it. <laughs> <laughs> um, for, um, I throw tantrums in work all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did I literally like three days ago. Um, I, uh, we're required uh, by our regulatory body to take two weeks annual leave at one go. So in one, like of our, of your year's annual leave, two of them, two weeks have to be in, in one set, one go. I just said it twice. Um, <laughs> so how many yeah, have been in one go? It, it has it? been one go, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> two weeks. Two weeks, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. uh, in one go. And I just don't want to do that. So I was just stropping and I was kicking off and my manager and he was like, no, you have to do it. It's in your contract. And I was like, oh, and I requested, I emailed HR going, can I get a copy of my contract? And they're like, yeah, sure. Send it over. And it's there on like page yeah. one in big bold letters. And I was just like, oh, I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. So hopefully I'm just going to ignore it and try to see if I can wheedle away at my own annual leave to make sure I don't have two weeks left. Do it. Um, yeah, so I had a proper tantrum and we got a big open plan office. This is about 80 people all just looking at me and I'm just going, oh, I just can't believe this is bullshit. And they're all in the same boat. Yeah. Getting yeah. on with it. Yeah, everyone's doing it. Yeah. And I've only been there five months as well. Yeah, they're like, yeah. Joe, we've been doing this 10 years. I've worked here and I do this without a fuss. In my old job, I was saying last week in the university, last week, it was actually, it's not though, it's oh, today, but oh, last week. to you, it's last week. Um, I was saying that because I was working in a student bar, I had to take a holiday like, like a teacher would. So it would be like summers, Christmas, mm. and Easter. And like, it was really good. I really liked it. But also, if you want to go on holiday, it's really expensive. Yeah, of course. So, yeah. So that's it. I didn't throw a tantrum about it, though. I did have. a couple of times, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to think of any meltdowns I've seen. Like, when I'm working in a pub, especially in the one down Cardiff Bay, like, I'd see adults, like, one guy literally shouted at me because we'd run out of ice cream. Ice cream? <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was a day like today, it was a food festival that was on in Cardiff Bay, and it was, like, one of the busiest days, and, like, people were, because like, we were relatively cheap compared to wherever else, people coming in for us for lunch, and, like, we'd run out of ice cream for the desserts. It happens. And this guy was just, like, lo- he went mad with me, and I was like, you're an old you're grown man, like, shouting at another grown man <laughs> over ice cream, mate, and I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, I do not miss customer facing no. roles. Um, yeah, I used, used to work at a betting shop, and I just yeah, true, honestly yeah. the same grown men just, oh, I bet that's worse, just though, kicking it's... off. There's money involved in yeah, it. Yeah, um, 
but you'd, you'd find it was the 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 lowest value betters yeah. were the ones that caused the most fuss like they would kick off over stuff and, and all this stuff and i suppose they had a bit more reason to kick off than someone moaning about ice cream yeah. um <laughs> but a lot of the time i was just like oh dude i don't give a shit like yeah did you ever get like sometimes i don't like i know i don't i never bet big but i'd just be too scared i couldn't do it like do you ever get people like have coming in and be like, like please not have put that down Oh, what, after like, losing yeah, a bet? Yeah, after losing a lot of money, coming in and being like, oh, I really wish I didn't do that. Is there any way we can... <laughs> um, no, I never did, actually. <sighs> no. Um, I once laid a pretty tasty bet. Do you remember that snooker bet snooker I did? Snooker I remember, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Was... Just thinking about it makes <sighs> me feel nervous. I was nervous <laughs> yeah. all day. <laughs> yeah. So it was, I suppose, uh, long story short, it was, I think it was in like second year uni. You were going travelling, weren't you? Well, you were saving to go travelling. I think was so. Was it with it, that money? No, it was um, my December paycheck. Oh. So it was only, but, but I only worked like Saturdays and stuff because I was in uni. So um, it was probably about £300, I think it was. It's like my December paycheck, basically. Um, and obviously I had to buy people prezzies and with December you go out and you're doing yeah, yeah. stuff. Um, but someone was like, oh, you can get good odds on this snooker player. I can't remember who it was now. Uh, oh, Jimmy White? Was he a snooker player? Yeah, Jimmy White. He was like an old Ed. Yeah. From back in the day, UK Championships it was. And um, and someone was like, oh, you can get like even money on him and he's going to breeze this round. So, you know, a mate of mine was like, I'm going to put 100 quid, 200 quid on whatever and double my money. Uh, I was like, yeah, go on then, put 300 quid on. And as soon as I did it, I was like, fucking hell, what have I done? I've yeah, never even yeah. watched a, a game of snooker <laughs> in my life. Um, and just sat there the whole time just going, I wish I could take this back. I wish I could take this back. And I can't remember, I think... It, it, it was closer than it should have been. It went. I, I think they've changed the format in the last few years. But at the time, this is probably 2010 or something, it was like best of nine frames. I don't know. So they went like eight frames. Or it was like first to nine or something. So they went eight each. And it was like, I just went to this deciding round. I was just like, oh, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm going to spend all my money. I'm just going to be skint for <laughs> December and all this. I'm just going to like embarrass myself to all my friends that I've told. Uh, and he won in the end. And I doubled my money and never looked back. Yeah. But yeah, I think that was the last bet I ever placed. The, the, the most money I've ever put down on one thing is 20 quid. And I didn't like it. Mm. And I was just like, Ugh. And it was on uh, Conor McGregor to get to lose to... Um, who was the guy he lost to that he fought again? Oh, Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz. Oh, really? submission in the second round. Oh, I put 20 and... quid on it, on it, like 33 to 1. Oh, shit. Yeah, I won big. Oh, I don't yeah. remember that. Yeah. Oh, it was a few congrats. years ago now. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it, was... It, was, it was mad. I couldn't believe it. Because I didn't watch it. I just put it on and then went to bed. And it was like a sky bet boost or something like that. And I was like, oh, oh cool. And I was like, I'm quite pissed. I was like, I've oh, got 20 quid. And I woke up in the morning and I had like five, six hundred pounds. Yeah, shit, yeah. yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, that was a good fight, that was. Yeah, yeah, so tantrums. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tangents. Yeah. I'm trying to think of something. There must be something like the sporting world. There must be, like, I'm trying to think of famous... Neymar has had a few this World Cup, hasn't he? He's been a bit yeah, of a baby. He's been a proper baby. Yeah. Um, I, love, I love the ref the other day when he dived, and he was having absolutely none of it. Well, yelling was at like, him. Get up. He was yeah. literally just like, get up, I'm disgusted. <laughs> it was brilliant. And even Neymar just got up and was like, oh, I just carried yeah, on. He was like, it's not going to be AR. They just carry on. They were losing. It was class. Gimp. Yeah, I love a good stroppy footballer. Yeah. Playing football, you, but like, there's always... Oh, I'm a stroppy footballer. Yeah. yeah. When I'm playing, I'm always lashing out and yelling <laughs> and kicking people. And then as soon as we finish, I'm like, oh, sound all right. Yeah, That's yeah. That. My dad said once he, um, he was playing rugby, because he played at quite a high level, and he said at one point... He just had like a rivalry with this guy in a like a, I don't know if it was like a derby game or something. But this one guy, they'd always like end up fighting or like ruffling up. And then my dad said at one time they were in the ruck, and it was a really wet day. So my dad pushed his head into the mud and in the ruck, <laughs> grabbed a load of mud and grass and just like rubbed it in his face <laughs> and in his mouth and stuff. I got away with it. So it was like in the ruck. And then apparently my dad said he saw him about thirty years later, and the guy was like, "I never forgave you for that. That was horrible." Oh, <laughs> and my dad was like, uh, yeah. uh, "On the pitch, on the pitch, leave it on the pitch." <laughs> so he said, like you just, you said, like you do, you just become a different animal once you yeah. once it matters and you're on the pitch. And then yeah. as soon as the game's over, you. You're gonna have a drink together. Yeah. This guy, now. Nah, that was too far. <laughs> that was too far. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, outside half, so I kind of stayed away from all the uh, tackling and that. I was all there for the just the kicking. Oh, you just you're yeah. a uh, glory player. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't come off with no mud on me. Yeah. Either. <laughs> <laughs> I never played rugby, to be honest. I loved it. it was, I much preferred playing rugby to football, but it just hurts a lot more. Yeah, it really hurt. 
Okay, cool. What's the next question? If there's any point. <laughs> <laughs> next question. Uh, have you ever encountered a black-eyed child? Okay, I knew this question was coming. Right, a <laughs> black-eyed child. A black-eyed child. It is. A black-eyed child is a, like a demon sort of thing, but there's loads of people who have said they've seen them. Well, basically, it's like you'd be on the street and there's like t- t- usually two of them and then they'll come and ask you for something like they'll knock your door and be like our parents are lost can you help us or like can i you see them in woods and stuff saying can you give me a lift home and like and then if you let them in they can fuck with you oh. but they've always got black eyes and like there's been low like we've got look online there's thousands of like stories and stuff about it to the point where people just accept that they might actually be a thing oh, right. <laughs> so, so yeah. and i listened to another podcast about it called This Paranormal Life, and it's really funny. They kind of do a bit like us. It's like a paranormal podcast, but they just take the piss. And they did a whole episode on it, so I recommend that. Mm. But, um, no, I've never seen one. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't. But they, they usually, sometimes they'll knock the door and be like, oh, can you let us in? Because something's happened. Right. And, okay. yeah, but then when you look, they've got black eyes. Oh, that's the giveaway, is That's it? the giveaway, yeah. Um, I haven't no, seen any of these, but I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, yeah. Um... I don't, I don't really engage with any kids. I never see any kids anyway. Well, I, when I'm walking the dogs at night, I do. Because yeah. like, I live in like a relatively new kind of like housing area. So like there's lots of teenagers. And that's why I always, I always feel bad for them. Because like we used to, when we were teenagers, we'd go down the park or under a bridge and drink. Just hang around in large groups. Like, yeah. It just looks and dodgy, doesn't it? It does. Like It's like Laura would be like, we walk to the shop and we go into the bridge to the shop. But I'd be walking the dogs and Laura would be like, oh, let's go around. I'd be like, I'm not going to do anything. Mm. Like, I know I was never going to just attack yeah, <laughs> people yeah. walking. And I was just like, ah. Well, this on next week's is. episode. You're like, oh, I got beaten up under the bridge <laughs> by a bunch of teenagers, <laughs> a bunch of black-eyed teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, it was the Ouija board. It was the Ouija board. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, so yeah, black eyed kids, keep an eye out for them. Um, usually asking for help, always, it's like you have uh, to accept how they it. Get, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So keep an eye out. Don't they say if you've never seen a black eyed child, you are one? Is that what you, you mm, you're one? No, it could be. I just made that up. Maybe, maybe. But yeah, like I said, like sometimes I'm walking the dogs in the park at night, you do just see like kids hang around. And I always think back to that episode of that podcast and think, oh. Oh shit, do you know what I just remembered? What? Um, when we were kids, our next door neighbours. Um, they're a bit odd. They had two twin girls. Were they homeschooled? Do I remember that? Uh, they, I don't know, because I we never engaged with yeah, them, yeah. even though they were like a few years younger than us, and we were neighbours, and you know, kids neighbourhood yeah, kids yeah. play together. But they would like their, their parents like never let them outside, and we were always like playing in the front garden or in the street, playing yeah, with the footballs yeah. and stuff. And they were always dressed the same, Ugh. stood in the window just watching us play, oh, having a good creepy. time, like summertime. Um, like literally like the Shining we'd just yeah, be like oh yeah. the Shining twins are back that's what we'd call them and then it's like they probably were home to I don't know if they would ever let out that's mad like they're just these pale potentially black eyed kids yeah well there's a thing going on at the moment on Twitter and it's kind of like strict parents have you seen all that stuff and like what did your parents do oh, if, yeah, if you had yeah. strict parents I'm like my parents were so lax yeah mine too like I was so lucky like <laughs> uh, yeah mine were very very, very relaxed do you know what I was thinking? Those neighbour twins that I had, yeah. that I, I lived next door to, yeah, <laughs> neighbours that I had, neighbours of mine, um, maybe they were, they asked for help from the neighbours and then tricked yeah, themselves true, in maybe. and they were torturing the adults. It wasn't the adults torturing mm-hmm. them. There's your twist. I was yeah, like that. Good, M. Night yeah. Shyamalan. Yeah. You having that? Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. Oh, that's creepy. They would wear that like, old creepy. school clothes. Like I swear to God, like they wear like maybe kind they of, were like, like Mormon or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. No, but that's kind of the image. Like they were very prim and proper, yeah, but like yeah. old school, like like sort of like long Victorian dresses. Mm. I swear to God, like I'm not making yeah. this up. Um, and they'd just be stood in the window, just like maniacs. That's it's, crazy. Yeah, maybe they were black-eyed kids. That's probably the closest either of us have come. Yeah, to us. there you go. But I remember one time I was walking home uh, to my mum's house. And it was probably about 21, 22. And I saw, like, this, like, three-year-old boy just walk around the street crying his eyes out. And he was by himself. And I was like... What oh, do I do? Yeah, do I go talk to him? Is it okay? Mm. And I did. I went over and I was like, you okay? And he was like, I've lost my mum and all that. And I cried. And I was like, okay, well... Um, I wouldn't good, say follow me, but it'd be <laughs> weird if, if your mum comes walking that way and I'm walking off with you. Yeah, true. true. And then, so I just stood there with him and just kind of, like, pretended I was on the phone, kind of, like, looking around, and then what, some guy came around pretended? the corner. No, I don't know, I just didn't know what to do. I don't want to yeah. be like, so I was like, oh, it's okay, we'll find your mum now. And then his dad came around the corner. And another time, um, we were in Winter Wonderland, drinking steins and stuff, and I was with some people from work, and this little girl just, like, I must have had the same clothes on or looked the same stature as her dad or something, just walked out with me. 
<laughs> and like I didn't realise she was with me and then we were walking out and I turned around and there's just like this little girl with me and I was like oh fuck this looks dodgy <laughs> led a little girl out of the park <laughs> but luckily we were with um, Heather as a lady I used to work with and that made it better yeah. which is weird because yeah. she was a woman and it was fine mm. and then she was like oh no it's okay we'll find your bum now and we went back in we found them but that was just me or it was me and Chris who'd been on the show he was here if it was just me and him. <laughs> that's dodge. Yeah, do you mean like that could have been so that could have been seen very badly. Yeah, that's got a police interview yeah, written all yeah, over yeah, it. Yeah. I remember I was just like, oh shit. Yeah. That's how easy it can happen. Yeah, yeah, it was so <laughs> weird. But, um Drunk man abducts cha- child <laughs> from Christmas <laughs> Fair. Yeah, Christmas yeah. Fair. <laughs> yeah. So maybe she was a black eyed child. Maybe shit, yeah. maybe. Yeah, cool. Well, maybe maybe that little kid that was crying, looking for his his yeah. mum. Maybe he was one because you didn't help because you just didn't know what to do. Yeah. Maybe you dodged a, a black eyed child there. Yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. But I did like. Oh, it was horrible. Maybe lethargy helps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe. I was just like, I don't know what to do, kid. Yeah. I don't care. I can't walk off with you because I will look weird. So we'll yeah. just stand here till someone comes. Stand, yeah. <laughs> so are you into sports? Yeah, we're both lost now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're both crying. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you listen to any good podcasts? Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. What's the next question? Okay, um, the sun has just exploded. Is it? Uh-huh. Yeah. How do you spend your last eight minutes on Earth? Well, I'm sick of the sun now. Well, actually, I don't know. It's next week. It could be. Could have rained all week. Yeah, true. Maybe. Oh, be, oh, wish true. we had some sun. Yeah, yeah. My um, last eight minutes. I don't know what I do. Probably um, just record a quick podcast for the the fans. <laughs> for the aliens. No, for the fans to let them know. You know, thanks for listening. Yeah, it's been yeah, a good yeah, ride. Yeah. 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 Um. I don't know what I do. People they, say they like, talked about this on um, one of the Ricky Gervais podcasts with Steve Merchant and Carl no, Pilkington. Um, I think they had like a day. I think it was you got a day, okay. not eight minutes. Um, but Steve Merchant sort of talks about how he's a very, he's kind of like a bit nerdy and a bit kind of you know arty and likes films and stuff. He's never really like lived a crazy life. Yeah, and particularly yeah. at this point, this was probably pre- this was these were like pre or very around the time the office just yeah, came yeah. out. So they hadn't then really achieved kind of the. The money and the fame that came later. And he's like, I've never really lived much of a life. I haven't like traveled much. And, you know, I just uni and work and stuff. He's like, so if I had a day left on earth, I'd just go mental. Yeah. He was like, I'd just like go <laughs> fucking the place up. I'd be like stealing stuff and killing people. He's like, I'd really just go weird with it. And I was like, I'd kind of do that as well. Probably. Yeah, just just do like Grand Theft Auto. You would, yeah. You'd just be like, right. Yeah, like, she'd just I rob just, a car. I'd love to joyride a car. Yeah. Imagine just driving a car around with no consequence of any... I was driving to uh, Tembe the other day after the wedding and, like, the, the new road into Tembe is, like, a racetrack. It's amazing. Nice. I was just like, I'd love to just be able to, like, let rip here and just go as fast as I can. Uh, I was like, so maybe, yeah, I'd go there. Go there. <laughs> Tembe for the... Go to Tembe for eight minutes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I love that. Where you get a nice, long stretch, open road, new tarmac. Yeah, and like, it was, like, yeah. it was, like, windy, but, like, good windy. And it was kind of, like, yeah. it, some of it was, like, tilt. It was, like, oh, it was oh, lush. Verge, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I was loving Didn't it. speed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Probably, yeah, I'd probably drive a car as fast as I can. Yeah. Or something like that. I've always, motorbike or something like that. I've always wanted to do some joyriding. Um, but obviously, I'm a nice, normal person, yeah, door abiding yeah. person, so I don't. Um, I'll spend time with my wife. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joyriding together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah joyride off into the sunset. Yeah, yeah. The wife's just, like, crying. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be a sunset. Um, I'd be quite keen to hear what other people would do. What, yeah. what, would, what normal people do? Yeah, these questions also apply to, uh, to you guys. The the yeah. yeah, email us in, particularly that one, but yeah. also any of them. Commonclayofthenewwest at gmail.com. Mm. Yeah, answer our questions for once. Yeah. Um, what's the next one, Ellen? Uh, next one is what is your highlight from the internet? A highlight from the internet. Oh, good question. There's some good ones. It's, um, it's, the internet's at a good time right now, I think. Yeah. Same with like TV. Like TV's at an all time high. And the internet's at an all time high. Do mm. I think something that always gets me? Oh, I just I love memes. Like I've yeah. spent so much like my whole Instagram feed. It <laughs> used to be like uh, it, it used to be like I'm quite a big fan of like photography and stuff. I like taking nice pictures and that. So it used to be all like landscapes and, yeah, yeah. and I don't know nature and animals and stuff like that. But now it's just memes <laughs> of just cartoons and SpongeBob and stupid shit. It's always SpongeBob, isn't yeah, it? I hate the SpongeBob. Yeah, ones. I'm not into SpongeBob. Yeah. Um, but one of the funniest things I've ever seen on the internet was one of the first like, you know, when memes went from being like big letters to mm. just like whatever it became like a picture is now just considered a meme. And yeah. it was that one where it was like a Twitter feed from Richard Dawkins, was it? Where it was like. <laughs> <laughs> Some yeah. guy had been blocked by Richard Dawkins, and he was kind of like, "Oh, thanks for unblocking me." Um, I, I, can't he was remember, tweeting him saying, "Oh, can you unblock me? I yeah. really need to speak to you." <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, 
And he unblocked and the, him. And the, yeah, then Richard Dawkins said, um, oh, I forgot why I, I, um, I blocked you in the first place yeah. now, but yeah, I'll please unblock ask, you. Yeah. What do you want to know? Please ask, please ask me your question. Yeah. And then it was, <laughs> do you want to say it? No, go on. It was, would you touch a poop for $20? <laughs> would you touch a poop for $20? And then Richard Dawkins replied going, oh, I remember why I blocked you now. This, this guy had been tweeting him over and over again, asking him if he'd put, touch poo for $20. Oh, dollars. And I know John, uh, his favourite one is that picture, it's like a YouTube video of a picture of a tiger. And the title is, a picture of a tiger me and my friend Mackenzie found. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like a video of a picture. That's brilliant. Um, I'm a big fan of that. Um you know that Scottish woman yelling at her yeah, kids for yeah, not flushing great. the toilet? Disgusting! Disgusting! We'll have to put a link of that because <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know how... Uh, it's quite obscure. Not many people have seen it. Oh, it's brilliant. Um, that's fucking brilliant. That yeah, that's... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Screaming goat is good as well. The goat screams like a uh, man. Shit, that was yeah. good. Yeah. That's, that's probably 10, 15 years ago now. Uh, oh, memory lane. We were talking yesterday about uh, Rotten.com when we oh, were yeah. fugly and stuff like that. Yeah, he fucked. Yeah, bloody hell. Oh, that's dodgy. I would never go, no, never go on those websites now. No, no chance. Can you imagine? Live leaks the worst one now, yeah. isn't it? That's like the one where all like, the horrible videos go on. Mm. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it would just be a, like dial-up internet and you'd, uh, your, your naughty mate would come over and be like, oh, go on this website. Yeah, and then yeah, like, yeah. just click a random link. You don't know what's going to turn up. And it's like, oh, it's someone with their head chopped off. Brilliant. <laughs> or someone lying in a bath pooing upwards yeah. like diarrhea and it's all coming back on them <laughs> yeah just like yeah gifts gifts of people eating shit yeah, and they're just like oh hell. no no so desensitized to just <laughs> yeah, everything know, now crazy, yeah i just it? grew up with unfiltered unrestricted <laughs> internet um and just like yeah just click on a random link and see what happens oh that was a mad wasn't it i remember the logo is like a like a bloke with no skin on it on rotten.com oh shit yeah like a really weird that's gross I don't think I can't remember if it was Who real run those websites I know isn't there and so early on in the t- yeah, days of the yeah, internet it like, got weird quick that's where this is going yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh fucking hell oh there must be loads I oh, love I rem- um I remember me and my brothers spent three days downloading an episode of Jackass <laughs> you leave your computer on overnight yeah, yeah, to download and, like, it yeah. you'd be able like oh, it's so long and I it was on MTV anyway, do you mean it was on the TV? We didn't need it. <laughs> Ridiculous things to do. Uh, but my little brother and sister, they just they don't know they like they can't grasp the fact that um dial up was a thing and we couldn't be on the phone and the internet. Mm. And like my around my dad's house, I don't remember it, it happening at my mum's, but I remember my dad's house like, it was just like the internet was cheaper after seven. Yeah, like three after six. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah so we could go on it as long as we wanted after seven or six something like that. Or it was like a penny an hour or something like that. You'd sit there than. waiting like, oh I've got ten minutes to wait, just looking at the clock and they'd be like, Right, one minute past seven, yeah, I yeah, can yeah. go on the internet now and talk to my friends on MSN. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. And we first got broadband, I was just like this is the best thing in the world. Yeah. Remember three G Broad on band. my phone, broadband. Yeah, that's that's the best thing. Yeah. Highlight of the that's internet. Highlight, yeah. <laughs> um, no, having three G in my pocket, like well, the first time I got a smartphone with internet yeah. access, I was just like, shit, that's huge. I didn't really understand it. Like, I didn't understand what data was and how. Like, I was like five hundred megabytes. That's plenty. Yeah. And got it because it was cheaper. And then racked up a hundred eighty pound bill in the first <laughs> month. Me and Manuel <laughs> watching films in our own phone <laughs> on my phone, using it as a hotspot to play PlayStation. No. Online, because me and uh, a friend of the podcast, Manuel, didn't have internet, so we used to use it to play Call of Duty online. We'd Dude. use my phone at 3G as a hotspot. That is meant for hey, online gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what <laughs> I... What? Because <sighs> I just didn't... It, we didn't... I didn't know. We're now, like, I, if I'm getting a new phone contract, I don't even look at text in minutes. I just yeah. look at data. I don't yeah. really care. Cause... I know I know pretty much what data I'm on at any moment, yeah, at, yeah. at any point throughout the month. Yeah, yeah, Um I think it's sad, don't we? <laughs> Uh, the next I can't question. believe that. Yeah. Play a PlayStation on oh, no, a hotspot from your data on your phone with 500 meg. It, it would have been through like in 10 minutes and then you'd just not, been on like a massive yeah, tariff. Yeah. It's crazy. No, one game, not even one game yeah. called you. Yeah. Mental. <laughs> Idiots. Yeah, and then we'd watch a film after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, yeah. What's the next one, Owen? Okay. Um, what happened to you in real life that could have been on a TV show or film? Trying to think. Trying to think. Trying to think. I'm trying really hard to think. Trying of really something. hard to think. Uh, I, well, I mentioned it on the last episode where the the documentary film they were doing in my yeah. office, where um, I sort of interrupted a, an interview they did and just kind of came up behind the person that was in, <laughs> being interviewed and just awkwardly gawped at the camera. <laughs> uh, it was very sort of office esque. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that I just I just cringed. I just turned around and walked the other way. 
one of the one like we were talking last week about the chefs I used to work with, and like they like there was two of them. Was one was the main one, the other one would come in on weekends. But like some of the times I'd be sat there, like we'd be talking, and I'd be like, "You guys are gold." Like, doing you guys are absolutely. Gold. I remember we had a really long conversation about. I didn't know what they were talking about, and I was like, "Why the fuck are they talking about Siberia?" And they were like talking about all these Siberians coming over and Siberia, and then I was just like, and I was like, and then it clicked. They were talking about Syria. Oh God! <laughs> they were talking about Siberians. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was just like, "Oh my God!" I remember some of the stories you told me about those two. It was like uh, like spinal tap. Yeah, or something. Oh, it was ridiculous. Um, well, I remember they were talking about voting with the Brexit thing, and they were, like, one of them was like, "I've never voted, never will vote. It's never affected my life at all." This, 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 but I'm then a moan about this, 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 this. Yeah. Don't like immigrants, don't like this, don't like yeah. this. I'm like, well, if, if you believe, I shouldn't really encourage you to vote, but like, if you believe that, there are people out there you can vote for who also believe that. Yeah. So maybe you should think about voting. And he was like, nope. And I was like, okay, probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you don't, but. Yeah, if you don't understand that core concept of, of democracy, yeah, then just yeah. stay out of it, yeah. <laughs> he said he was in the bath once. And <laughs> fell through the ceiling in his bath. No way. Yeah, and he's fine. What a twat. <laughs> like, that doesn't surprise me, knowing <laughs> the sort of things that those guys are up to. Oh, like. God, he was mad. Uh, basically, to want to go back to the question, every time I drive a car, Fast and Furious. Yeah. So, or driving down to Tenby. Where did you yeah. go? Tenby. Tenby, yeah. yeah. Fast and Furious. I, it's I like a film. When I was little, I used to like say if I was driving in the car with my mum or something, like a song would come on the radio and I'd like, look out the window. And I'd feel like I was in a film. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, Put so your arm on the side. Yeah, yeah look, like, yeah. <laughs> sunglasses on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure loads of stuff's happened to me that I've been like, that's mad. Oh, well. Next question, shall we? I was going to say, oh, uh, a lot of our sort of uni time um, was just like stoner comedy, yeah. film worthy. Yeah. Us just spending like the whole day in the living room. <laughs> not going to uni or work <laughs> and just throwing a tennis ball around <laughs> trying to get we, we would literally for eight hours we'd all get up we all lived in the same house and we'd all kind of meander into the living room and be like we've got nothing to do today <laughs> um or i'd be like oh, i've got uni but nah, i don't yeah, think i'll bother yeah. um and then someone would bring out a tennis ball it's like <laughs> we'd bounce it once or twice and then we'd be throwing it around then it was like right you got to throw it as close to the ceiling without yeah, it touching the oh, ceiling. that was amazing, that was. Um, or bounce it off the floor, one, one wall, the ceiling, and then the yeah, other, so it was the like other had wall. Every wall in the room. That's right. Yeah, including um, the floor. In one throw. That was amazing. That was, amazing. That was so intense. It was really difficult. It was yeah. achievable, but difficult. So it would create just the right yeah, element of yeah. sport. No, yeah. we were really good at making up games. Yeah. I remember one time when our friend, he worked for a, uh, a gas company and he was one of those door-to-door -door salesmen <laughs> and he had like a tablet that he gave in and then like after about two days he realised he couldn't do that job yeah. he's playing rugby with the tablet <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> throwing this bloody computer around yeah. oh god yeah he's like oh I'm not going to work for them anymore yeah. he's like oh I still got this tablet though catch <laughs> catch <laughs> oh look oh watch out watch out oh, that's brilliant living off Billy Powerade and Coca-Cola <laughs> yeah stealing cigarettes yeah um, no I, when I smoked I always smoked well even though I was skinned, oh you were always buying uh, fancy, yeah, fancy yeah ciggies. I couldn't have the ch cheap ones mm. But those were the days, smoking. Mm. Smoking. <laughs> Don't miss me. <laughs> Sometimes um, now I wake up and I feel like I've been smoking. It's weird. Probably because you've been stood next to me. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Inhaling my second yeah, smoke. Yeah. But I remember the feeling of waking up and being like, oh, don't miss it. Oh, do you know what I just remembered? Can go I on. go back to one of the other questions? Yeah, Is that it, too yeah. messy? No, no, go for it. Um, oh, I can't remember what the context was, but um, someone... Someone tweeted. It was a bit similar to that Richard Dawkins one or yeah, whatever, yeah. where he was famous and he was like... He was like, he called out for his followers for help because he was like, this guy keeps setting up accounts on Twitter and um, tw atting me in yeah. pictures of um, glasses of water really close <laughs> yeah. to the edge of the desk. Oh, that's amazing. Um, so someone was balancing cups of water really close to the edge yeah. of the desk. So a little bit make you uncomfortable. And he kept tweeting this celebrity. <laughs> I can't even remember who it was. but yeah. um, And this guy was like, it's really frustrating me. Can someone help me? Like, he was asking his followers for help. Um, oh, and the thing is, knowing anything about the internet, I'm sure that just opened the floodgates yeah, yeah, for yeah. everyone just doing it to him then. It's so funny. Um, or, oh. the, or the guy, um, do you remember... Um, Michael, uh, Michael Jordan uh, tweeted um, a similar thing saying, oh, can, um, can someone help me out? Some guy keeps texting me saying, remember Space Jam? <laughs> <laughs> Some random guy got Michael Jordan's phone number and kept texting him going, do you remember Space Jam? <laughs> like, fucking hell. That's so funny. I think we'd never know about it without the internet. No, like, no. 
<laughs> One of my favorite, well, Ed Balls tweeting Ed Balls. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> but there's this thing, I don't even have seen it. I've sh- tried to show everyone, but it's on It's on its own website. And there's this guy, and it, he got his friend's Facebook password and went through like all his pictures and like slightly edited his face, like made him look like really red and like <laughs> made his face just, like t- like <laughs> it's, like changed. Like oh, I'll show you after. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll tweet it because it is that's my favorite thing on the internet. Really? Well, so not a, not a dramatically no. noticeable, but actually <laughs> like fucked up yeah, enough that there's like right. just makes it really look really red or like really like just changes his mouth slightly so it just mm. looks really creepy oh, Jeremy, every time I read it I'm like giggling laughing yeah um, I'll show you, I'll definitely tweet that out because it's definitely worth it cool Who? what's next Owen okay uh, what is the stupidest thing you did as a child the stupidest thing I did as a child oh yeah I told you I had a good one for this um, oh no it's the first time I'm hearing that question so oh I've got a good one for this <laughs> Nah, they know. Um, we were me, and my stepbrother, and my other brother. I can't remember if we were all there, but definitely my stepbrother was there. And we were staying in a hotel in Manchester, and um, there was like the hotel was like a circle, and the dining room and kitchen and all that, and the um, restaurant was below in the circle, so you could look out your room on it. And it was like a massive glass mm. thing looking over the thing, so you could just see right into the kitchen. It was really cool, really nice hotel. And what we did was we went and filled up an ice bucket. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Lord, did it about 10 times. Because my, my, even my dad was like, the noise was amazing. Of all the ice hitting this big glass roof. Yeah, and yeah. Going, so and his like, dad was involved yeah, as well. He was just like, like, go on, do it again. Yeah, One more like, time, yeah. and then we'll stop. <laughs> and, then, oh, and then we did it for about 20 minutes, loving it. It was brilliant. And we kept going back and doing it. And then out of nowhere, it was a massive thud at the door. And we, my dad answered the door. And there was a, he was like, my dad was like, they're the two biggest blokes I've ever seen in my life. And it's like, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. And he said, he would just open the door. And they didn't say anything, but just stop it. Fucking and we were just like, Okay, and then my dad's like, oh, I don't do that anymore. Right. And we still talk about it, just like my dad's always like, it was brilliant, but oh, it was so funny. Hell. I love that your dad was in on it. <laughs> that makes it, that does. Uh, I love, um, yeah, where well, I was just saying, so you've got two brothers. I've got, yeah. well, I've got three, but I've got two that are close, to, sort of similar ages to your two, yeah, really, yeah. a couple of years older, a couple of years younger. Um, and yeah, the whole childhood was just mischief and just yeah. naughtiness. And it was like, just like hanging out with your mates all the time, yeah. like in in the house. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, just having boys around you all the time, just getting up to no good. Um, and you know, even when we wouldn't get on, we'd just fight each other. Yeah. We'd just be nuts. It was just, uh, yeah. I can't, I can't even think of any specific things. We once, um, me and my little brother were, were fighting, we're goofing around, we're throwing something. I can't remember what we were doing, but he ran th- ran to the front door just as I threw like a big rock or something at him in the house <laughs> and he shut the front door and I basically just launched uh, like a paperweight I think oh, it was at off. the front door which was like a massive stained yeah, yeah. glass and just smashed it to bits and my dad going for work just be the shit out of me basically <laughs> it's just like who did this and I was just like oh it's me and he's just like right then <laughs> um, and the thing is I'd like to say I learned my lesson um, no. but literally like a month later we did the same thing to the back door but my little brother threw the <laughs> Um, I think you threw a, a, a skateboarding helmet oh, at no me, way. and those things are tough. I yeah, mean, they're designed yeah. to protect your head. Um, but the, one, the back door was six foot of glass; it wasn't uh, just a, yeah, a, a, remember, a top yeah. half. Um, yeah, and smashed that. And I was like, "I'm not taking the beam for that, Rob. You're having that. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's on you now." Um, yeah, maybe our parents were too relaxed. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other things we did. We did loads of stupid things. Like when we were talking before about Rolling Stones that me and John used to play, that was daft. Yeah. There was no were... there was no rhyme or reason to doing there was nothing good about it. It was a stupid thing to do. Rolling <laughs> stones at each other. <laughs> Rolling Stones, you had a name for it as well. I remember, I remember one time there was an electric fence. Well, it wasn't an electric fence, it was like one of those static fences. Oh, yeah, I love that. And um, me, John, John's brother, and a couple of other friends, we uh, thought we could do like, you know, like Ali G, where they do like a link, where like we'd oh, all hold yeah. hands, and someone at the end would grab the electric fence, and we'd all go like that. And it just hurt. <laughs> it just really hurt. I, I don't know if it got stronger as it went through or something, but... Well, what, it was like really yeah. bad. Yeah, oh yeah, it was oh, like really sure. stink- yeah, it was stupid. Well, yeah, it's electric fence now. Yeah, but I've held those things, like on a farm. Yeah, yeah. Like, those, those kind of soft ones just to stop sheep wandering yeah, off. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we used to play that so you can hold on to it the longest. I think what we did as well, with someone had like a chain, so we oh, used the metal, metal on to it. touch nice. it, and that was what Am- hurt. amp it up. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wet chain and a car battery. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, we I remember we did that. We found one, and it was like, right, so you can hold on to it for yeah, longer. Yeah, so you're like, ah, oh, my hand's burning. Oh, I feel sick. I've got oh, a headache. That's horrible, yeah. And then it's like you you let go, and everyone's like, ah, oh, you lose, you pussy. <laughs> you're just ill for like a day. Well, that's another stupid thing we used to do was hold our um, hands over candles. <laughs> <laughs> so look, we do that for longer. So. Um, oh, didn't, didn't one of the boys um, had to go to Wayne because yeah. he like got like second degree burn yeah. on his hand because he just wanted to win? Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> so yeah, plenty. Idiots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, yeah, we could probably do a whole episode on stupid shit we did as kids. What's the next one, Owen? Okay, this is the last one. Okay, feel is, sick. What is the <laughs> catchiest song of all time? Um, Easy, Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Actually, the shotgun song that's out at the moment is pretty catchy. Uh, you got to sing it first. I'm riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. Burning. <laughs> I'd never heard it until yesterday you played it for me. No, no, not for me. Yeah. It just came on and then you said, this is that song. Yeah, so that's it. Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. It is warm in here. Yeah, sweating. Right. Can we play out with Gangnam Style? Yeah, can we do that? Yeah. yeah. Gangnam Style. Oh, I had a really bad wave then, I'm just, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> My body's wet, I'm sweating.